Hello beautiful souls, welcome back to the channel. My name is Tess and today's reading is all about answering the question what do I need to know right now? And as always we have three different piles of the cards and each card has a special message just for you. So take a deep breath, center yourself and choose the pile that speaks to you. So we have pile number one, pile number two and pile number three. Just take your time, trust your intuition and when you're ready, let's dive into the reading. Welcome pile number one. So here is your message for what you need to know right now. So let's see the cards. The first card is the sun and this is such a positive and very uplifting card and it's all about the happiness, warm and also the success and right now you are in a phase where things are looking just brighter. Maybe you also have been through some hard times recently but now you can actually feel that the things are starting to shift in your favor and the sun card also can bring a clarity so something that may have been confusing or or a little bit unclear before now is making sense to you right now and you may also feel more confident like you're stepping into your through power and the message of the sun is also to embrace this positivity to enjoy the good things in your life and also to just let yourself shine and also to just know that the success is on the way and now is the time to really start celebrating your achievements and all the progress that you have made recently, pile number one. The next card for your reading is Five of Swords and this card is all about the conflict and tension. So also maybe you recently had some arguments or disagreements with other people in your life and also it may feel like you are in a situation where you had to fight for your ideas or a little bit to stand for yourself and also sometimes this card can show that even if you win an argument, the victory can a little bit feel hollow because it kind with a cost and it's just a reminder to really think carefully about how you can actually handle the conflict and if it's worth of winning the argument and if the winning of argument can actually hurt someone or if can cause a bad feelings and also this message is for you just to try to find a peace and avoid any unnecessary battles and this can also mean that now is the time to let go of certain conflicts and focus on just moving forward. The next card for you, pile number one, is the Queen of Wands. So the Queen, as you can see, is full of fire, it's full of passion and it's also full of confidence and she's someone that is not who is not afraid to go after what she wants and makes things actually happen and this card is telling you that right now it's very important for you to be bold and have a courage and you should also trust in your abilities and don't be afraid to take the action on your dreams and the Queen of Wands also reminds you to stay passionate about what you do and also to just lead with generosity and warm and to kind of also inspire others the way along the way and you have a lot of creative energy around you pile number one is just flowing through you now so use it to move forward with confidence and also I draw a card from the law of positivism deck and the messages I have a healthy and stable foundation in my life and this card is just a really beautiful reminder that despite any challenges you had, you have built a strong and secure base for yourself and you may also not always feel like you are in control, but deep down you are very grounded, you are very capable of handling whatever like life throws 
your way and throws at you. So you should just always trust in the stability you have created. And also you should always know that you are supported on the way. And also I draw another card. I may place it over here. And it's from the deck Ancient Stones and the card it's Stepping Stones. Take the next step, simplicity and focus. And this message is all about moving forward one step at a time. And sometimes we can just get very overwhelmed by thinking about the bigger picture but this card is here to kind of like remind you and to kind of encourage you to focus on the next step that is in front of you but also you should just keep things very simple and very clear and just don't rush the process because every small step counts towards the largest goal you have for yourself and also i draw one card from the universe has your back deck and the card says i am an apologetic about what i desire and trust that what i focus on will grow and this card is a powerful affirmation that you should own really your desires without any fear or doubt and you should also not feel bad about wanting what you want and you should always trust that when you focus on your goals and your dreams with bigger confidence like also the queen is reminding you the universe will actually support you in making them a reality so whatever you give your energy to will just simply grow so keep your thoughts very positive and very clear and maybe to just conclude everything pile number one so for those who choose pile number one this is the time of clarity of success and also of positive energy with the sun card and you also been through some challenges but you are kind of moving into a more confident and empowered space i have the feeling so you should also be always mindful of the conflicts and choose always peace over unnecessary battles with the five of swords and the queen of wands is telling you to be always bold to always take charge and trust in your creative fire as you have built a strong foundation in your life so trust in that stability you have created and always you should focus on taking the next step keeping things very simple very clear and just be unapologetic about your desires trust that whatever you will focus will grow as the universe really has your back so just keep going and let your light shine brightly as now you're really into time and you should empower yourself to really take that action to just move forward maybe you also will not be quite supported on your way maybe there are going to be some people telling you that what you are currently focusing on what you are currently doing is not the right thing but you actually know inside you that you can make it that you have the courage you have the power in yourself to really achieve everything because you have stable foundation and just really like the cards are telling you you should do whatever you want to do you should always focus on your desires you should always focus on your dreams and really just step forward because you have the power and you're fully supported on your way so thank you so much pile number one for listening to this reading take what resonates with you and leave the rest as this is a general reading thank you so much pile number one and see you next time welcome pile number two to your reading so if you choose pile number two here is what you need to know right now so let's check the cards the first card is nine of swords this card often represents anxiety distress or worries as you may be feeling overwhelmed by your own thoughts right now perhaps you may be also waking up at night thinking about all what if situations or all of that but it's just very important to remember that sometimes our minds can a little bit play tricks on us and making things seems worse than they are actually and the message here is to try not to let your fears to control you just to take a step back and look at the situation with all of the calmness and also the clarity and often the things that we actually worry about the most never come to pass so try to bring some peace to your mind right now pile number two but also let's check another card so the five of pentacles this card speaks to feeling of a lack or a little bit a feeling of scarcity I have the feeling you may also be going through a time where you actually feel like you don't have enough 
it can be either like financially or emotionally or also it can be a spirituality that you have always now feeling that you have just not enough and it could be a very tough time right now for you pile number two but remember that this car also carries a message for you a message of hope that even though sometimes the things may feel very difficult uh, but help and support is always available whether it's for your surroundings or it's just simply from the universe sometimes the help is available from all of the places you won't expect it to be there so just don't be afraid pile number two to reach out for help if you need to or to just look for the light in the dark times right now because the things will actually get better pile number two the third card is ace of pentacles and this is a wonderful card pile number two of new beginnings and especially related to material things like money career or some projects also after the challenge of nine of swords and five of pentacles the ace of pentacles is actually here to show you that new opportunities are coming your way whether it's a new job a financial opportunity and also it can be just a simple new idea that can actually bring the promise of growth and abundance so just be open to new possibilities that are going to show up and that are actually already maybe showing up for you pile number two i also draw one card from the deck law of positivism and the card is saying i am calm and safe in the midst of chaos and this is just a wonderful card that very sweet our theme and this card is just a simple and gentle reminder that even when the things feel very chaotic and very out of control you actually have the power to remain very calm and grounded and you should trust that you are safe and you are protected no matter what's happening around you pile number two so just really try to create a sense of peace within you as this card is suggesting for you to do it and also i draw another card and it's from ancient stones oracle deck and it's just simply telling you trust your vision intuition and plant seeds this card actually is telling you that you should really tap into your intuition and trust the vision you have for you because the ideas are going to come to you the ideas are already flowing to your life so really you are being guided to plant the seeds for your future right now even if you cannot see the results right away trust the process and know that what you are creating now will grow over the time and it's waiting for you the success is there pile number two after all of the times you was worrying about now you should plant the seeds because something new is coming to your way and i also draw one final card oh this is a beautiful card and it's the universe has my back this is just a powerful affirmation pile number two that no matter what challenges you are currently facing the universe is here to support you just to know pile number two you are not alone and everything is actually happening for a reason so you should trust that the things will work out in your favor and you should always keep moving forward with a faith and to just conclude everything for all of those who choose pile number two you may be going through a very difficult times right now with a lot of worries and also with a feeling of lack but the ace of pentacles this card shows you the new beginnings and new opportunities are on the way to you by number two so you should just stay calm and grounded in the mists of chaos you should always trust your vision trust your intuition and plan seed for the future and you should always remember that the universe has your back even in the tough times you are fully supported and the better days are actually coming so you should always trust and keep the faith and trust in the process i know that right now you may feel very lost you may feel very bad you are feeling very low but really pile number two this all will pass and the better times are coming for you because ace of pentacles is an amazing card is a card of new beginnings and also all of those three cards what i draw from oracle decks are here to support this ace of pentacles as you can see i'm calm there is a chaos around you but you should trust in the universe because everything will pass you really just need to have now the strength in you and to just know that no matter how hard the times are right now pile number two it will pass 
and everything will be just better at the end. All of the cards are working in your favor, so I hope that you will have really an amazing time coming to you, pile number two, and thank you for sticking to this reading. Take what resonates with you and leave the rest, as this is a general reading. So thank you so much, pile number two, for listening and talk to you next time. Welcome pile number three to your third card reading. So if you chose pile number three, here is your message for what you need to know right now. The first card we have is five of wands. And this card represents competition or struggle. You may be feeling like you are in a situation where you have to fight for your place or prove yourself. And there could be also some conflict around you either in your work in your personal life or even like internally it can be some kind of conflict and the message here of five of wands is here to say to stay focused and not get lost in all of the drama or the chaos around you you don't have to also get caught in all the competition, you should just stay true to yourself and don't be afraid to stand your ground. We also have 10 of cups. 10 of cups is card all about emotional fulfillment, about the joy, about happiness, and especially with your family or close relationship. So also after the struggle of the five of wands, the 10 of cups shows you that you are moving towards a time of harmony and peace. And this card is also a very beautiful reminder that even after the conflicts, there can be happiness and resolution. So it's a very good time now to focus on your relationships and also to appreciate all of the love and all of the support around you. The third card, what we have is justice. And justice card is all about fairness, about truth, about the balance. So you may also be dealing with a situation where you are seeking justice or the clarity. And justice card reminds you to act with fairness in all that you do. And if you've been also waiting for some kind of like decision or outcome, this card suggests you that things will resolve very fairly and also the balance is very important in your life so just make sure that you are keeping your life in balance and you are not letting even not one area overwhelm the other areas also draw one card from the law of positivism deck and the card is saying i accept my life exactly as it is and this is just a powerful message about acceptance and peace even if the things aren't right now maybe perfect it's just important to really find a peace in the present moment and it's very important for you to accepting your life as it is and it doesn't mean that you should stop like striving for something better but it just simply means that you can also find a peace and gratitude for what you have right now and i also draw one card from the deck the ancient stones and the card is telling you the holy mountain soul calling sacred journey and this card is calling you to connect with your higher purpose there may be also a journey or a path that you are being called to take and you are also being called for something that will bring you closer to your true self and also your true soul mission and also this could be just a literal journey like a travel or also some more like spiritual journey within yourself and also i draw one card and it's the card from the universe has your back or a deck and the card is saying the more energy and intention i bring to my faith the more fearless and free i am and this card is here as a reminder for you that your faith is actually very powerful and the more you trust and believe in your path the more fearless and free you will feel so don't be afraid to put your energy into what you believe in and also just trust that the universe is here to support you pile number three and to just simply like conclude everything for those who choose pile number three you might be dealing with some kind of conflict or competition in your life with the five of wands but the tens of wands it's promising you happiness and fulfillment after 
the struggles you may be facing and justice will be also served and fairness will kind of reveal to you and also you should just accept your life as it is and find peace in the present moment and you may be also called to kind of go to on a sacred journey or to just simply connect with your higher purpose and you should just remember that the more you trust in your journey and the more you will have the faith the more fearless and free you will become you are currently on a secret journey and the universe is guiding you on this journey and it's supporting you every step on the way so also by number three you may be now going through kind of rough time because of the people around you but to just know that if you are going to trust in your abilities if you are going to go on a better journey you are going to find a peace and more like satisfaction in the things you do so i also think that the cards are here to tell you not to be always focused on the external environment and on the people around you but also to just really try to find your own peace and not to be surrounded by all the negativity and just competition in your life and also i have the feeling that maybe you were maybe also kind of competing with yourself maybe you are putting a lot of pressure on yourself but you should just know that you should be grateful for whatever is going on in your life and you should be grateful even though that there may be some not very pleasant things around you right now pile number three so i think that that was it for today's message thank you so much pile number three for sticking with me also remember to take what resonates with you and leave the rest as this is general reading so until next time thank you